So today, as you probably guessed, we've come to Paris and uh, we are now visiting uh, Carrière de Paris, which the rest of us, uh, well, I'll translate that first, that's the quarries of Paris, which is the correct name for this place. But all of you know it as the catacombs. So I've seen a lot of videos out there, a lot of uh, nasty clickbaity things, no real history to them. So today we hope to change that, bring you a lot of history about the, uh, the quarries, when they were, when they were dug, uh, the ossuaries, uh, the graves in other words, and uh, yeah, we'll go on. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, as you guys can see, much of the catacombs is flooded, uh, hence why we have opted for waders today. Um, there's no way we would want to come down here uh, without waders and spend seven hours in this condition. So uh, we have wussed out and we are in waders today. There we go, almost out. Oh look, so this is one of the street names. So something you can see is that uh, they have Oh, the water made me jump. Yeah, so all of the names down here correspond to the streets upstairs. So if you are familiar with, uh, with the streets of Paris, you can probably navigate your way fairly safely uh, through the catacombs uh, just by using those signs, but it's not recommended, obviously. So, oh, that's, oh crap, Let's, where, which way did they go? Here, mate. Oh, that way. <laughs> Get myself lost. I'm guessing we're close to an entrance because of the amount of graffiti down here. <sighs> yeah. Should, oh yeah, here we go. Excellent, okay. Keep going. Yeah, so here we've got some of the original markings on the wall. Look. Check that out. Nice. We'll move on. We've been joined by uh, three of our uh, new French friends who are uh, helping us not to get lost. <laughs> yeah, if anyone knows Latin, no, speak Latin, it's this massive concrete slab here that's been carved out. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I don't speak Latin though. No, me too. The the piano, though. It's actually old graffiti from 1783. So that's graffiti rather than carvings. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Into the next bit. Uh, we're about what an hour inside now. Um, and we, we intend to be down here for uh, probably another six to seven hours. So the filming will be on and off throughout our journey, but obviously we'll edit it together to show you some of the more interesting stuff. Oh, that looks like uh, Moonstruck Exploring's logo. Nice. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's just tunnels goes off everywhere. Come to this place, and there's like this giant Easter Island head here, like carved into the rocks. That's insane, look. Right? Yeah, but look, it goes off in every direction. <laughs> I mean, we've only just started. It's a change of our light levels. So you have to pay attention to uh, reserving light in this place, obviously, because seven hours underground. I mean, we're pretty well prepared. I've got enough light in an emergency to last far longer than you could survive without food or water, so light's not an issue. But it's the Avenue d'Orléans. Right. It's written here, and that's a very long way. Very long. Yeah, you, you can see them. <laughs> and then some. Mm. And still from the quarries. Oh wow, that's deep. <laughs> So that's one of the wells. Yeah, 
It is literally amazing. Light movie. Oh, okay. that, that's why you're cool. There are many lights. So here we've got. Oh, yeah, the light room. All this hanging up. That's <laughs> crazy, isn't it? <laughs> that's way further. That's just too long, isn't it? <laughs> That's nice. I mean, how, how these guys can remember how to get around this place, it's amazing. I was keeping, I was genuinely keeping track, but I'm yeah. now not sure anymore. I'll be honest with you, I knew it would get to the point where I just wouldn't have a clue where the hell we are. No. And it would happen very quickly. But uh, yeah, that's why we've got Plan B in the bag. Pen and paper. Yeah, a manual compass and a printed map. Because the walls uh, have the signs that uh, translate to the streets above. Yeah, it's like an underground map. Yeah, yeah. So in a pinch, we can get ourselves out. Sensible. <clears throat> Well, this gets a little bit taller. I don't have to crouch down anymore. We've got another well. Nice. Is it deep? Uh, not not as deep as the other one, but uh, yeah, you don't want to jump down. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, the water's clear. You see the bottom. Oh, and look, there's a couple of bits where it dips down here, mate. Can you keep an eye on my bags? Yes. Yeah. This is really deep now. Oh, yeah, this is really deep, look. Right, up to here. This is getting... How's my bag, mate? Thanks, guys. How much clearance? Uh, about... Uh, you guys just take the pictures? That's not too bad. There's plenty of room. Let's spin you guys around. Yeah, let's slow down. Let's spin you guys around, shall we? Yeah, look, so... Oh, this is getting deep. Are you filming? Yeah. Good. Let's slow down a bit because I can get you yeah. Uh, oh, what? To keep an eye on my bag? Yeah. All right. Do you hear any more? <laughs> no. Oh, it's one of the old um, uh, uh, charcoal ones. Charcoal walls? So, you know the uh, the signs on the walls? Yeah. So, what they did was a guy would come down with charcoal, oh, mark it up on the wall. Oh, here. And then another guy would come down and then look at the marking and then call it into the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I think my left foot's leaking. I'm not surprised given the pressure. So yeah, as I said uh, towards the beginning of the video, um, one of my main objectives here is to actually put out a quality video on this place that's actually factual rather than clickbait. Found dead body! I mean, no you found a dead body, it's the catacombs, you know, deal with it. Um, so yeah, uh, so the earliest records of this place was, uh, oh, oh, testing my memory now, I believe it was the year 1298, it was around that time. That was the earliest record, so the chances are they were probably mining before that. And um, the purpose of the, uh, of the uh, Carrière de Poe was they were mining for uh, gypsum, which uh, was used to make the famous plaster of Paris. 
and uh, primarily limestone of uh, several different types and uh, that's how it went so that's when it started and um, yeah there were so many quarry companies going that this is why you've got miles and miles and uh, well miles of tunnels beneath Paris and uh, they sorry about our breath we've been walking for hours down here it is massive um, and yeah, so there were competing mining companies, so as well as accidents from rockfall and things like that, there's actually sabotage from other quarrying companies, uh, which resulted in some people's deaths as well. Um, but yeah, let's continue on and I'll explain some more history a little bit later on. So, so there's roots down here. How can there be roots down here? <laughs> Trees will find a way. Trees will. Is that a really bad Jurassic Park reference? No. <laughs> Trees will find a way. Uh, yeah, that's a step. See, w when the French do a mine, at least they put steps in. In England, they're all over the bloody place. <laughs> I'm not exactly walking slowly either, and it's... I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's insane. Tunnels, tunnels everywhere. Yeah. Uh, the adventure continues. Our, uh, our guides are uh, confirming the way. It's uh, good fun. Do you know the way? Uh, uh, I'd have to get a map out, and mm. even then I would be nowhere near as good as these guys. <laughs> <laughs> how they remember how to get around this place, because it's so big. <laughs> yeah, so we've just come to this section, which... Uh, oh! Well, okay. So yeah, you can see there's uh, ladders there, and that goes down to what's known as the, uh, the second level. Uh, so we will go down one of these soon, but not yeah, not just at the minute. There's stairs to go down. Yeah, there's stairs as well, isn't there? Oh, I forgot we climbed through this. Shit! I've got through, all right? Yeah. This is bloody wages. This is shit when you got on through stuff. Somewhere in the distance we've just heard uh, some music, which um, contrary to popular belief, the catacombs are very popular at night, especially on the weekend, and uh, there's lots of parties going down here, everything like that. Now that's cool, but, uh, uh, well, due to some of the idiots on YouTube that put out all these clickbaity rubbish things, uh, a lot of the locals do not like video, so we're going to have to drop the video if we come to one of these, uh, one of these parties, um, just out of respect to them, I think. Did you hear that? Though? Those guys back there, you can see the light behind us. I told you, it's a big party place. Uh, Catacombs are always a big party. There's one of the uh, one of the original gates are, is in here. So we turn, turn it around and get that in there, look. Yeah, it still moves. It's nice. So, so yeah. We're, currently coming down this tunnel and uh, you can see all this uh, metal work in the walls which uh, they originally ran telephone cables down here um, unfortunately our guide is, can't tell us the exact date of these but uh, personally I'd say that they uh, given the the, uh, the humidity down here that's definitely newer than the Second World War all, back, all figuring out which way to go now Get some light down there. 
So uh, a bit more information for you. Um, back in 1775, uh, there was a big, uh, big catastrophe. Um, a big section of the uh, of the carriers, the quarries, uh, collapsed, and uh, a hundred foot stretch of road fell into a hundred foot deep hole. And uh, this was very alarming for everyone. So in 1777, the king uh, created the uh, Inspection Générale de Carrière, which is uh, basically the general inspectors of quarries. It's their job to come down here, assess everything, and, um, and to repair and uh, structurally uh, brace anything that was uh, looking a bit dodgy, a bit unsafe, sorry. So uh, we've already come across a couple of those bits, but uh, we'll carry on now. Just thought you'd like to know that bit of history. Uh, I think we're getting to a wet bit again. Yep. So yeah, there's a. So we've come to this section now, and there's a very distinctive smell. Uh, transversal. That's different. But yeah, anyway, um, there's definitely a unique smell down here now, which uh, means that we could be uh, getting closer to uh, the ossuaries. We will find out soon. Uh, oh, okay, so this bit's quite dodgy. Um, there are holes underneath the floor that we can't see because of the mud. And by the sides, uh, we're almost almost out. Yeah, I'm just testing each foot as I put my feet down so I don't go through a hole. But uh, that's better. I think we're out now. Excellent. Uh, that's better. Yeah. There is no end to this place. You can imagine how people got, you know, people have got lost down here over the years. Some have never returned, obviously. Okay. No, no, a femur. C'est le bel That's a femur. Yeah, I, I recognise the word femur. <laughs> so, yeah, we've. Uh, we have come across some of the remains now, but uh, it's only a small couple of bits laying around. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so here's our first bit. There's a piece of femur there. Uh, there's a bit of skull here. Yeah, there's little bits. There's little bits everywhere. I mean, that's part of the leg, the femur, again. Got a piece of skull. Oh, yeah. That is definitely a piece of skull. Wow. Okay. It's really strange. It's, it's really weird, though, isn't it? Well, being somewhere full of, well, body parts, yeah, and bones. It is different, yeah. But uh, obviously, we want to try our best to uh, be as respectful as we can. Obviously, these are all the ancestors of uh, all the people above us. But uh, let's continue on this bit and through there is one of the main ossuaries so uh, we're going to crawl through there in a minute once the other groups come out and uh, take a look and for those that don't know what's an ossuary ossuary uh well it's uh, the final resting place of the uh, the bones that they moved out of the cemeteries which we'll explain later that's the one okay camera yeah I'll give you how many bag if you need to. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. I can put I it. I'll be able to deal with it myself. Sure. Yeah. Ow. This bit's quite large, so do you want me to put it through the hole? Oh, yeah. It's better than that bit. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Uh, I don't know why they're all looking at me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're coming. We're coming now. I'll film the way through. Photos on the way out, like we always have done. Fair enough. <sighs> right, so we are now in uh, one of the ossuaries. And already, yeah, we can already see a lot of a lot of remains, but uh, we're going to be very careful moving through here, try not to disturb too much. 
uh, but we will need to move over them at some point. But uh, let's go inside them and have a look. Right, so already here you can see, I mean, we've got, I mean, that's a, quite clearly a hip bone, a lot of femurs. Now, uh, it was the much larger bones that uh, survived. Uh, so femurs are one of the main ones because they're the densest part of the body. Oh my God. Now that's grim. Yeah, look at all these bones. So, in total, throughout the uh, throughout the uh, <sighs> throughout the catacombs, there are between six to eight million people, or the remains of those people. Um, so this section, so the public section contains most of the remains, but. Uh, this section is about two million in the rest of the catacombs. Ugh. So hold on, I'm gonna have to move. I can't move down very well. There's a bit I can stand up down there, so I'm gonna move down there now, and then we'll catch you up in a minute. Oh, that's better. It does open up. So many bones. That's the first vertebra of the spine. Okay. How do you know that? Are you a medical student or some? Um, paleontology. Fossi oh, fossils, for fossils uh, and yes. dinosaurs. I know things. the anatomy. Uh, oh, okay. All the bones. Very good. So yeah, we travel a bit further down there. Oh, that's better. Bounce the light off the wall. That's nice. <laughs> oh yeah, a jaw. A jaw. No. That's just that is almost yeah. The eye socket's the other way around. So turn it. Oh, that's quite sharp. Turn it the right way up. There we go. Turn it the right way up a bit. You can just about see where the eye sockets were. Oh, nasty. Okay, well, I'll wait until these guys have finished taking their photos and, uh, but uh, it's just, I don't know, so long. It's just full. So, I better tell you some history on the, uh, on how all of these remains came down here. So, in total, throughout the, cat uh, throughout the catacomb system, including all of the abandoned bit and the small little public bit that you can visit, uh, there's between six to eight million uh, bones in this place. Let's turn the light up. Hey, that's much better, isn't it? So yeah, back in uh, 1780, uh, after uh, a very long period of uh, dampness, rain, and everything like that, um, basically the grounds became very saturated. And uh, one of Paris's big cemeteries had a massive uh, incident whereby all of the, so the cemetery was surrounded by um, merchant stores. And uh, one, one day, because of all the rain and the saturation, um, all of the cellar walls collapsed and all of the remains came flooding in. And obviously this was very grim and uh, it upset the locals uh, very much and uh, obviously a public health hazard. So as at the time, the, um, the local authorities were rediscovering these, uh, these quarries, the Carrier, um, they decided that the best suitable thing to do would be to put them down here and create the catacombs. So one idea that was rejected was to uh, cremate all of the remains. But uh, because it was a heavily Christian, you know, all these people have paid money over this 500 year period uh, in which these people were buried to have a Christian burial. Uh, so yeah, so what they would do, they found uh, the mine shafts, the, uh, the ventilation shafts, and um, they would build brick walls uh, around a section of it below the shaft and then every night they would bring uh, by cart the remains and they would tip them down the ventilation shaft and they'd be accompanied by monks uh, uh, saying prayers. So, how did, uh, how did they manage to amass six to eight million bodies 
uh, or sorry, bones um, to put down here uh, into the quarries. And uh, it's all, all to do with the way in which the uh, Parisian uh, cemeteries at the time were run. So the, inc the incident with the collapse at the cemetery occurred in uh, 1780, as I say, and for 500 years prior to that, a process was going on uh, with mass burials. So all of the cemeteries in Paris would have started with singular graves, uh, but that took up too much space, so they got rid of those. They created uh, mass pits, and um, each cemetery would have between uh, somewhere between 20 to 40 pits, and they would uh, systematically open a pit, fill them uh, full of the bodies, uh, 1,500 to be precise, then they would close the pit and open the next one, and they would keep going until all the pits were full. But once the pits were full, they deemed it, uh, they deemed that the bodies had decayed enough, and they would open the first pit, remove uh, the bones, and then they would put them in the shacks around the, uh, the cemetery and then use the pit again. And this went on for hundreds of years. And it got to a point where they said, okay, well, you don't need your arms and legs to, uh, to get into heaven. So they cut the arms and legs off of the body and throw just the head and, uh, and the body. And that increased the capacity of each pit from 1,500 to 2,000. And um, as I say, this was going on for about 500 years. And uh, one of the remarkable things about it was over that period, the ground level, uh, due to the uh, decayed flesh, had risen by, it was somewhere between 7 to 12 feet. Um, but yeah, that's when the accident happened and uh, they moved them all down here. So we've, uh, oh, so yeah, we've come to this section. And this is quite ironically named as Demon. And we've got all the bones stretch down there but uh, we won't be going that way uh, we have other other ground to cover so uh, let's go oh that's not too bad so much original signage here though look. so this gives the date of this particular part as 1871 that's fantastic the the, there's a hole on the left that is that's a bit of a hole yeah okay, okay. a bit more light from the because I haven't mentioned it in a while. Uh, it goes that way. But I think we're, yeah, we're going this way. Let's uh, turn, turn that down so I'm not blinding these people. That's better. There we go. Just stop him for a second. Yeah, look. So it gives you an idea of where you are, where you're going, and direction. Nice. Cool. So yeah, we're now heading back. <laughs> we got a bit turned around. So uh, we're now heading back out uh, to take a different path through the catacombs. It just amazes me how many people come down here and spray paint so much stuff. But if you've seen Paris above ground, you know that it's a big part of uh, Parisian culture to graffiti and stuff, I think. Yeah, excellent. So Badger now is in the way of uh, someone has built a rather grim uh, throne of bones. <laughs> the, the bone throne. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll leave Dave to it now because he wants to have a look. Uh, we'll go back the way out with the uh, way we came. Uh, Badger's gone that way. Let's check that way. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, so what they used to do. Their original mining technique was to uh, leave pillars of limestone behind to leave hold the ceiling up. But they realised that was valuable limestone, so they developed this technique where they put pillars in using other rocks uh, so that they could get the limestone. But let's go. Oh, that was a mistake. A bit dingy in here now. Huh? Yep, yeah, I speed it up, speed it up, speeding it up. Whew. That's good. There we go, back on track. I don't want to get left behind. It's going a bit short. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Crouching it. Yeah, no, that goes all the way to. Can't even see the end. Yeah. Right, so um, 
Previously, I mentioned that they would uh, take all of the uh, remains late at night, dump them down the mine shafts. Um, and here we have one of those shafts. So I'm currently, I don't know what the angle is going to come out like, but I'm laying down at the moment because it's very, you can already see some bones behind me that I'm laying on. Um, so I'm going to show you up the shaft to give you some scale of this. And it's, it's horrendous, I'll be honest. So let's flip you around. Okay, and now I'm going to show you up the shaft and you can see all those bones above me just perched there and I mean this 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 shaft we're 20 meters uh, below ground and there are thousands and thousands of remains here um, yeah so I'm gonna leave this place now because quite honestly that's both it's it's intriguing but it is it's both disgusting intriguing kind of humbling too so uh yeah i'm gonna come out now uh i mean there's bones all around me which we expected to find so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna hype it up and be a muppet um because yeah i mean this is the catacombs you know you you're you're, you're gonna find bones. that's that's the whole point so we're gonna move through move back through now and we'll continue on So yeah, we've just stopped for a break, and uh, yeah, the guys have carved uh, a castle with Spider-Man. It's the Spider-Man castle. There are little dinosaurs on it, but they've put a lot of detail in. They've even put a little metal gate in the front. It's got windows and, and uh, firing slits and everything. What's around the back of it, though? I'm just going to have a quick look. It does it? Oh yeah, look, that just goes on and on down there. Okay, we won't go down there. We we'll go back. So, uh, uh, yeah, little faces. Check that out. There's another one this side. Oh, yeah, they've done a few. <laughs> this guy and that guy. Yeah, they like to get creative down here and carve things. But uh, let's move on. Yeah, this is deep. This is very deep. Dry a bit. Which way did they go? Where did they go? Oh, I thought they went another way. Yeah, there they go. Right, I think we're heading off to the exit now, which is about 15 minutes away. So, uh, hopefully we can get, uh, get some fresh air and a beer. So, uh, one of the interesting things about, uh, about these signs is that uh, a few of them change. The dates aren't the normal Gregorian calendar. Whoa, this is deep. Um, they changed them for a period of, uh, it wasn't very long, it was about 12, 12 to 15 years, where they, after the big French re revolution, they tried to do away with anything uh, Christian, including the calendar. So they, they redid everything. They started with year one. Uh, that didn't quite work. So they gave up with it after a while. Oh. One, two, three, let's turn this. Let's turn. Hold on, it. One, two, three, let's turn this around. Yeah, we're all good. All right? Yeah, we're uh, wet. We're going to get quite friendly with the water in a minute. Really? Okay, well, if we've got to get friendly with the water, I'm going to have to uh, stop filming for a minute. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm having to crouch into the water. Ah! <laughs> I hate this bag. <sighs> Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop filming for a minute. This is stupid. Give me two seconds. Uh, this is interesting. Oh my god. 
Rocks underfoot. But yeah, from me and everyone else, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.